Welcome back to Jules GF, Toronto Raptors, the NBA is back, first episode. Now guys, these ones aren't going to be as long, obviously I'm a little more focused on the Leafs, obviously Cowboys, but Messiah Jury said it, we're in a rebuild, we all know it. Um, Scotty Barnes, well, we have a lot of injuries, Barnes, uh, what's his name, Manuel Quickly's out, Barrett was out, now he's back, Bruce Brown, this is for the best, it's a loaded draft, top 10 pick. Let Messiah Ujiri work his magic, but let's get into it. So opening night, Cleveland Cavaliers. So the Raptors are terrible on defense. That's where we're going to have to get their identity back. They can score. Mind you, it's a pussy-ass soft NBA, so anyone can score. 136-106 at home, not good. But again, they started with four playoff teams. The only reason they beat the 76ers, Embiid and Paul George out for the first three games. Uh, again, I think they had their chance with Embiid. I don't think this guy's going to stay healthy. He's Kawhi, but without the uh, titles, which sucks, but... Raptor fan, fuck Philly, fuck the Atlantic, fuck the Celtics, congrats on the title. 115-107, they get that one. 112-101 at Minnesota, again, Ant-Man, they made a big trade, Julius Randle. Hey, who was calling it last year? Carl Anthony Towns, you weren't getting it done? Fair trade, let's see what they got. And then, two year ago, champions, Denver Nuggets, locked and loaded, Jamal Murray healthy, nice up and under, Jordan style to tie the game, lost in overtime, which is good by two. And so we are one and four. Should be going five. Again, it's for the best. Every team needs to do it. And some teams, I'll just give a quick, uh, not to totally rip on my Cowboys. You want to keep pushing it down. You're kicking the can down the road. That's what happens. So at least the Raptors, they identified it. And they're doing the rebuild right. Again, we could, uh, oh, maybe they should have got rid of Van Vliet or Siak. Those days are over with. we got to move forward with what we have. Grady Dick, though, hey, a couple nice performances. He doesn't look like a total bust. Is he worth all these Gillette commercials? Oh, sure, man, he's a white boy. But anyway, <laughs> always all fun races. Like, come on, guys. Racial humor, sex, it's all back. Um, uh, again, stand-up comedian coming up uh, 20, 2025. I'm going to get that going. You know what it's all about. I'm here to educate, but also entertain sports with women. And if you don't like it, then you don't have to watch it. But more importantly, I leave you with this. Vince Carter, Saturday, November 2nd, a few days from now. Uh, again, jersey number retired. Well-deserved. Anyone who still hates him, get a life and grow up. It, Sam Mitchell, it's all documented. He wanted to stay here. So enough of this bullshit. Vince Carter loved it here. Brought clubs here. He says, and I quote, the best kept secret. Look at the ladies. You got the ladies of all colors in Toronto. When Toronto was the shit, man. The 2000s. Uh, it still is, but not like the 2000s. Eh, 2010s were pretty good. But anyway, I'm going to be doing it every Wednesday. If they have a game, I'll wait till it's over. Because I'm busy the other nights. But let's go Raptors. And... Maybe they surprise us, but at the end of the day, we know what Messiah and Jerry and Bobby Webster are all about. They're intelligent, long-term plan, and tag nation.